Hello and welcome to this week's episode of J Man Can Allotment Diary. This week, as usual, there's going to be two parts. Uh, of the two parts, the first part is going to be a little bit of work that I'm actually doing the allotment so you can follow the plot and what I'm actually doing here. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more weeding and things like that. And the second part, I'm actually going to talk about greenhouses, the advantages, disadvantages, and also look at my greenhouse, which at the moment is uh, broken. It's got a couple of glasses missing, a couple of panes missing, so I'm going to try and get that fixed. That's the actual greenhouse there and uh, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get that fixed. Thanks a lot. Okay, so as usual, first thing I do get to the allotment, decide what I'm going to do, then I remove the blue sheet, then I start working again. The reason why I have the blue sheet on there is at the moment I don't want any weeds to grow on there. Let's get to work. Okay, so a quick update of what I've actually done at the allotment. This is the first bed that I actually made. Uh, and as you can see, I put all the borders around it. And in the last couple of weeks, you've been watching me make this second bed here. The second bed in the middle I finished off last week. I've just got to put the, the border in there. And this week, what I will be doing is, again, similar to this side over here, I'm going to build a path over here and take some of the weedings out but I think initially make this path out here, measure it out and then start taking some of the weeds out all the way along here. That's the plan for today. So this week what I'm going to do is make this path here, measure it up, line it up, create the shape of it first then I'm going to start weeding it. Okay, now you can see I've taken out most of the weeds just on this side, enough to put a, uh, a uh, piece of wood down to make the a temporary bed, so that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Okay, so this is my greenhouse. Uh, this is the second part of the video where I try to offer some hints and tips. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about the advantage of the greenhouse, the disadvantage of the greenhouse, and also get my greenhouse fixed. I will go with that. At the moment, I'm also just taking over this plot. The greenhouse is a bit of a mistake, but I'm focusing on a lot of different things. I'm focusing on creating a couple of raised beds, some growing areas. Now I'm going to be able to focus on fixing the greenhouse. Let's take a closer look at the greenhouse. This is my greenhouse that I've taken over. As you can see, it's got a couple of bits and bats in between. Um, obviously, it's going to need a little bit of work. The door's actually not got a piece in there. It's not actually sliding across either. Let's just have a quick uh, walk around the outside first of all again. Remembering that it is all a little bit of a mess. Let's just have a go. Okay, so it's, it's not in, in particularly bad shape as you can see. It, 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 it is definitely watertight at the top here, um, top here. So I'm pretty pleased with that. However, there is a couple of gaping holes just there. You can right through that. 
Let's go around. Oh, again, it's all a, a bit of a mess, but some of the This is going to be the, the biggest part and the big problem that goes right through here. That's coming off. It's a hole through there. It's obviously not watertight. Uh, there's a big gap in here, so I need to get that area fixed. But let's just go around to the other side over here. Yeah, that side is in very, very condition. There's just a small hole at the top there. Okay, so that's just a quick walk around the greenhouse. As you can see, it is a bit of a, uh, a bit of a mess. However, um, today we're going to spend a bit of time just fixing it up. Uh, I have already, from one of my fellow plot allotment holders, she said I can borrow any things of last time. Okay, so we're just going to take a very, very quick look on the inside of the greenhouse as well, just to see what kind of condition it is or well, it isn't. So, we can see it is actually quite echoey in here, so it is relatively watertight. Unfortunately, you can see there is a broken pane of glass there, and from there onwards it goes right down. That's completely broken. We can also see on here this particular square is completely missing and on here that is completely missing as well apart from that the roof is in very very good nick it's got some wires along there so i can definitely get some things in there the other thing is it has got um, a bit of a ventilation system i don't know how well it works or doesn't work but all in all it's in pretty good shape just got to get it cleaned up okay so i'm actually just making the uh, the greenhouse and the uh, what I'm having to do is just do a bit of an overlay, similar to the roof, so there's one on top of the other, but I want to just say, I've just realised this, these little springy things here, these are absolutely fantastic, what they do is, they, there's a wedge between this little side here, I don't know if you can see a wedge little side here, and between the glass here, and it just clips it in place, it is absolutely fantastic, let a little closer look at these things, so, and all it does, it sort of just wedges in there and just clips the glass on you could put some filler on there but at the moment I haven't got time so I'm just doing a temporary fix as you can see I've just clipped this one on here clip that one on there just doing a bit of an overlay and I've already fixed this little uh, small area so I'll get the rest done 